Hello, welcome to PC Jack. So, last week, God of War finally came to PC, and it's actually been getting really good reviews, and the performance has been excellent across the board. Personally, I've been managing to play it at 4K ultra settings, and easily getting well above 60 FPS, which is great news. But, you know what I thought I'd do to myself? I thought, why don't I do it without an actual graphics card, because surely it'd be totally fine to not have one for this game. So, what I thought we'd do for today is a little bit of an experiment, and we would see what the integrated graphics are like on the Core i5-12600K with its UHD 770 graphics, which we're going to be pushing to its absolute limit with trying out the biggest title to come to the PC in 2022. Now, the 12600K itself is obviously a really well-regarded gaming CPU and is really competitive with the Ryzen 5 5600X, but of course, there is the expectation that you are going to pair this with a dedicated graphics card. But, as we're all aware, that is not really how the market is at the moment, and a lot of people can't get hold of them. So what if you've only got your 12600K and its iGPU alone? Well hopefully, in today's video, I should be able to let you know if you are actually able to run this new AAA title. Now, I don't have really high hopes for this, but I was still curious to see just in case. So, we'll get the game running, and see how it goes. Okay, so, it's a bit of a slight issue. As you can see, we're just trying to boot the game up, and we're currently at a uh, really impressive 4 FPS at the moment. Um, what I'm thinking has happened is that, because I've obviously been playing this game on my other system and running it at 4K, it's probably defaulted to 4K as well as it being the... It's got the black. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it's done that. Uh, I'm assuming it's just defaulted to 4K because I'm using a 4K monitor and also because I've been playing at 4K on my other system. So what I might try and do is edit the INI file before loading it and maybe that'll change it to a different lower resolution. Okay, so I've got the INI file, so what I'm going to do is change the resolution manually from here. So if we go 1920 by 1080, that seems more reasonable. So I'm just going to save that and we're going to attempt to boot it up again. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. I'm not quite sure why it didn't take any notice of the INI file. Um, I think we're going to have to try something else. So what I'm thinking might be a solution just to even boot the game up. If we lower our resolution in the desktop and just go for 1920 by 1080, maybe it'll allow us to go into the game and adjust the actual game settings directly without booting it into a 4K resolution to start with. Fingers crossed. Oh, it seems to be a bit better. We're getting 12 FPS now. That's a bit better. But as long as we can just get into the main menu, we can adjust things directly from there. Oh, that is very low resolution. And we crashed. Damn, we were so close. Okay, am I going to drop it down to 720p in the desktop just to get into the game? Oh, we might have to. Let's give it a go. Oh god, 720p on a 4K display is not nice. Okay, so I finally had some luck. I had to actually change my desktop resolution all the way down to 720p in order for the game to actually default to that lower resolution and actually get to the main menu. And then, once I did that, I made sure that it was on a lower resolution, exited the game, and then changed my native resolution back to 4K, and then I'm just playing the game in windowed mode. There's a bit more effort than I was expecting to be able to actually boot this game with an iGPU, but anyway, I'm going to be a bit ambitious and start out our testing by trying to go for at least what you would get on console. So I've started out at 1920 by 1080 and we're limiting ourselves to 60 FPS. I highly doubt we're going to get anywhere near that today. Um, I am going to use FSR but I'm going to try it off for now. As you can see we've kind of exceeded our VRAM buffer as well by a fairly significant margin but we'll see if that limits us in any way. And then for our graphics, we're going to be a little ambitious and we're going to go for original settings. I don't expect we'll get very far with these settings, but I'm going to be optimistic and I will adjust the settings and my expectations accordingly. So with all that out the way, I reckon we just jump into the game and see what happens. Well, that's the highest I've seen our FPS is in the loading screen. We're actually in the 50s and ah, now it's gone. Oh, wow. Well, the game has actually loaded and the... Uh, We've got some pretty significant lag going on. Our textures are just uh, not here. This is... Oh my. That is some horrific lag. Why don't we try and move? Oh wow. That's... Uh, we're going to have to uh, adjust our settings a little bit to even make it playable. So let's take a look. 
So, all I've done is I've gone back into our settings and I've actually enabled FSR and I haven't changed any settings at all yet. And we're still at 1920 by 1080. So let's see if that made any improvement. It's a little better, we're actually nearing the 20s a bit more. But those textures are uh, something left to be desired. And we're still getting a significant amount of input lag when we're trying to use the controls. So if I try and do any fighting, you can hear the delay between my mouse and that. That is not going to work. I think we're going to have to uh, change it up a little bit more. There we go. So I've now put it on low settings at 1920x1080 with FSR performance enabled. So let's see if that's helped us out at all. Oh, FPS is getting, getting a bit better. It's getting a little better, but we are really suffering when it comes to our visual fidelity. Oh god, that is pretty jarring to look at. I don't think we're going to have much luck running this at 1920x1080. So I'm thinking we're going to have to drop it down. So let's try 720p out. Okay, so as you can see, we are now at 720p. Uh, it looks awfully small on this 4K display. And now I've put it back up to original settings just to see if it copes any better with being at 720p. We're still really exceeding our VRAM buffer, but let's see if this helps. Okay, it really doesn't want to run anything on original settings. I think we're going to really struggle on that. Why can't I do anything? I'm stuck. Okay, so I have no idea what happened there, but the game didn't crash, but I completely lost control. So I had to restart the game, and I really don't think we're going to be able to use original settings whatsoever. So now we're going to give it a go at 720p low and see what happens. But I think this is probably going to be the lowest I'll be willing to actually drop the settings for this. Okay, so I have to say that is literally the highest I've seen our FPS this entire session. But I can see through Kratos and he's missing some stuff. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. And what's happened to his son? He's he's disappearing. And oh oh oh, that's rough. That's uh, some uh, rough popping. Where are these enemies? I actually cannot see anyone. Oh, the enemies are invisible. That's not good. How am I supposed to fight them if I can't see them? I'm going to say that this is probably not the most ideal way to experience this kind of title. I really think that, uh, obviously, the issues we have with the uh, shortage for the GPUs is obviously going to be a bit of an issue, and you may not be able to get one, but you can get a CPU and try and get away with the integrated graphics. But for a AAA title like this, I think you're really going to be sacrificing a lot, especially when it comes to the graphics, as this is not really acceptable by my book. For a game like this, I really think that you would be doing yourself a huge disservice. So unfortunately, it's uh, not going to get a pass on this one. And we died. That's a rather fitting end to our testing session. Okay, so that really did not go well at all. I was already a little bit skeptical about being able to run the game at any decent end at all. And I was right. Now, it's a bit of a shame because... I'm sure there are a lot of people that are really struggling to get a hold of a graphics card right now and only have their CPUs, iGPU to be able to play any games. Now yes, you can get away with it in certain titles that are a bit less demanding, but when it comes to these AAA ports, you are going to have a very difficult time. So it's a bit of a shame, but I still thought it would be pretty interesting to take a look and see exactly how well we could get it to run on just the Intel UHD graphics. which. I'm not really improving much nowadays still. I really don't think we should be that surprised by how it went today. Still, an interesting experiment nonetheless. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. If you didn't enjoy it, then please feel free to leave a dislike. But please leave a comment and let me know what you didn't like about the video. If you have more PC Jack content though, then make sure to check out my Twitch where I live stream every Monday and Thursday. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at PCJack94. If you'd like to talk to myself and other like-minded hardware enthusiasts, then make sure to check out the PC Jack Discord. If you'd like to support the channel even further though, then make sure to check out the PC Jack Patreon where you can claim exclusive benefits while helping to fund everything I do for you guys. You can find links to all of those in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.